Hey everyone, welcome back. The Buick's up on the Pro Jacks and axles are out of it. My dad couldn't quite uh, wait very long. He got the car right in here, got everything pulled out of it. And this is what we got. So we got a straight one that's got uh, a little twisty to it. And then we got a bent one that's got a whole lot of twisty to it. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's what you found, huh? Yeah, it was pretty interesting. The first thing I know upon the notions when we was out there at the track and stuff, everybody's going back and forth and we're thinking like, well, for one, I've never broken axle in all of my whole career. <laughs> Not that it was a huge one, but I've done a fair amount. But anyway, never, never even as much as bent an axle. I've twisted the splines, yes. As you can see here, this is probably the most I've ever seen on any of my cars through the years. So anyway, we're out there and we're discussing it and I did see a little bit of grease come up on the outside through the wheel and stuff so that's when james and i was discussing it like let's go up here let's just maybe just make a hit <laughs> i was not expecting a, a bent axle or a broke axle at the time i was figuring it was probably the seals on my bearing that was leaking like right through here and stuff uh to put some of the grease out here or this o-ring that, that was the worst case what i'm thinking like yeah it's losing a little grease yeah it's getting now we'll take care of after this here. So let's go up. Let's just make a a sixty foot. Just see if it'll come on a two step because it's passed before it. Yeah. Stumbled, coughed. Yeah. If you guys watched that, it just it ran real rough. So we were like, well, we got to figure out what the heck the car's gonna do. So, like, at least we're in a safe environment. Go up there, put it up on the brake, and it came up clean. And we let go of the button and bang which i know that's not created all this here where yeah. this started from i believe was probably had to be the last time we actually hit the car of any kind of degree trying to launch it which granted people this is this has only been a 130 60 foot maybe once in its days of being a drag car yeah we just started getting that up once we changed the, nothing to impressive the, to the men's <laughs> or shocks that's when the 60 foot started coming around so in the process of this, this is what we got. Yeah, which is really crazy. Which, so <laughs> look at the big split all the way down there. And it's all the way through the end here. If you guys can see that right there, it split all the way down. And then, so it, it bent it and then split it. And he said that this thing was crazy hard to get out of the, oh, yeah. out of this intersection. I had so. to take a sledgehammer and go from the driver's side and beat it out. Try to knock it back out. It's still Kind of wedged in there and stuff let's back up here a little bit i know he's out there at the track and everybody's kind of going back everybody's got their opinions on what's happened what's going to happen the tire's going to fly off the car the, <laughs> the brake's still holding it on the brake's the only thing that's holding it on be careful which was only driving it from the starting line which this this could have drove all the way down there what happens is if you're going to break a wheel and lose it at the starting line it has to break it on this side of the bearing this is your retainer it holds it in here this is the housing inside here so it has to break your axle here boom you'll lose the tire which uh, is pretty uncommon i think for it to uh, break clear out there yeah but. that's that's due to some severe tire shake or beat up bad or so, some other unknown conditions like i said i've never had nothing like this but this is when i've seen them break before and people lose a tire at the track or something or bust the housing end off i've actually seen the poor welds and it takes the whole housing in yes and the whole axle does come out yeah but no normally like I said, I've seen the axles, usually they break right back here, right right behind the threads. Even where this was down the stem. Yeah, usually they'll break. Yeah, I've never seen this. It's usually right right in this area, right here where the splines are at. It's where I'll see them. Because you already have this like built-in like stress point mm -hmm. where they've cut into it and it's not as thick and all that stuff. So that's why right. we, you usually see it there. And that's what we figured is it probably break here. like. But then we were wondering and it was still wobbling all over the place. But this, the retainer, is what I was talking about before I made the pass. Like, what's the worst pack, worst case scenario? Because I figured, you know, you got that retainer on there that really the axle can't come out of the car. I guess it, uh, so the only way it really could is if you broke it out there. Yeah, but, it, it would have to be bad. Like, you'd have to break the bear, which it won't break the outside or it shouldn't. It could have broke enough internal with the ball bearings that are in here. But or the sleeve would have to come off. Then the bearing has to work off. Then your axle can come out. Yeah, you. Uh, a lot of stuff would have to. Happen. Yeah, you're talking lots of just a severe duty. Yeah. For this here, no. There, there's, there's no way. Like to even get this out of what I've done here, 
I'd have never bet no money that this would ever have even had an axle problem. Right. And and so also that's the other part is if we would have pulled it out and just seen like twisted axles, we'd have probably just been like, okay, I guess we need new 35 spline axles. Now seeing that it totally broke it and bent it and tried to turn this thing into a pretzel. Uh, <laughs> now I call Mark Williams up. <laughs> Got some new parts coming. Get rid of my strange, goes from 40 spline. There'll probably be a solid axle now. Uh, change the whole center section. Yep. Going back with the 325 gear because that's where we've been and we've been trying to just maintain it. Plus I can still drive down the road, go do the other stuff we've been fortunate enough to yeah. do with this car and stuff and put it all together and go back at it. It's really not going to change anything as far as the way the car functions, the way it operates. No. Nothing. Just maybe a little more safety. Yeah, just built I a little guess. bit better. So then Hopefully we can go out there and go 120 60 foots for multiple years in a row and not just once have this at a 130. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're tearing stuff up like this. Guys, yeah. look out. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> we didn't think that, you know, like even I was thinking about that. I wonder what the axles look like in the Camaro. Sure, Mosier's or whatever, but that thing's been one mid 130, like 136, 135, I think 60 foot at 3,600 pounds, a little bit heavier than the Buick. And I'm like, I've done that a bunch in that car. I bet you pull them so, apart, you won't see. <laughs> probably you, you pretty won't straight. See that. That's why I don't get. I don't. I, I'm not sure if the metal's soft or something's weird with these honestly, or, or I think what. They've got but, an internal problem with something of. It's hard to say, the but design or the app. So I'd be interested to know if there's some other. I I know I'm not the first, even though I call my stuff <laughs> first time garage, because it seems like every time I call somebody with a problem, that's the first time we've ever seen that. I'm that guy which I know I'm not. That's just a manufacturer's way of passing the Pushing buck. Pushing it off, yeah. And stuff, so I'm the fortunate guy out of all my crew. I, I couldn't tell you how many times. If I had a dollar for every time I say that, I'd... You'd be able to afford a Buick, maybe. <laughs> I'd be able to afford my new parts. <laughs> But no, that's uh, that's it, guys. That's where we were at with that thing. And like I said, we got new parts, new uh, extreme duty stuff coming. And hopefully we can get the car back out. I'm sure it's probably not going to be by the end of the season because we're almost done. We only got like two weeks left and they only yeah. got like one more event. So and we're registered for uh, sick week. Yep. So uh, some information coming on that. We'll, uh, we're excited. We got to get this thing back together so we can go to Florida and do Florida man things. That's right. With I the, think that's going to be car. fun. Yeah. Shout out to Tom and all the sick week guys. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out like sick the mag and uh, sick week. That's a... Yeah, race week style event that'll be in florida in february so um what's, we gotta, what's the sick ward yeah is that the people that are following you yeah so it's kind of like the race yeah. week here so like people can idea I yeah think it's, it's cool fun. cool branding cool concept yeah. and they're talking about driving on the beach trailer burnouts don garlets all sorts of crazy cool yeah. stuff so uh it's just a car event it's yeah. fun you're hanging out yeah. with your car family like what, <laughs> what better way to have what's what they call the craziest fit or the What's Tom's? Oh yeah, his uh, most tired vacation you'll ever take. Yeah. That's it. There's no kid. Yeah, it's but for it's the pretty well. the fun of it. I highly recommend, as I have for all the other oh, events yeah. we've done like that. I recommend it for everybody at least try one of them. Even follow them. You don't have to participate. You don't have to be fast. No. Just out there hanging out, having fun, just BSing with everybody. It's a great time. Well, and then what else are you going to be doing in the middle of February? Um. <laughs> If you're in Colorado, probably watching the snow fly. So we definitely saw an opportunity to go jump in an event like that. And that's what we're going to go do. So we got to get this thing back ready to rock. And it will be no problem with that. So hopefully we can, I don't know, we'll have to figure some things out. And hopefully we're ready to go because that's a whole long trip to go out there and try to try to play cars. But I think we'll be yeah. ready to go. I'll be good to go. Yep. So and then... I show you guys give you a little update on the vega it's over here just uh where are you at on this thing not really waiting oh he's building the uh intercooler tank on it so building that right there it's going to go up in up in this area yep. but otherwise the engine's all done he built all the headers everything's good there he even mounted the imtron ecu up in wow, here it's still set or Oh, it's sitting down there, but it'll end up getting all mounted up yeah, there and everything. Yeah, I, right I did the oval exhaust. We tried to put a little bit of a muffler on it because uh, Pete's wanting to do this as far as like race weeks and another streetcar build here. But yeah, so this this stays oval all the way through, even the oval muffler all the way up, and then it, it changes right here at the end of yeah, the. Uh, I did a transition header, right so pretty cool deal. Yeah, so try to keep as much clearance as we could out of the 
car, like you said, we'll put this here, the water pump, it's got an intercooler on the bottom. It'll be interesting to see what this thing. Yeah, this little car is gonna run good, I think. I'm sure it's gonna be nasty loud. <laughs> yes, no, that's it. But this thing made, I think, over 1,200 on pump gas. Yes. And I'm sure it'll get some good fuel in it. Maybe we'll throw a little more timing at it down the road, but this should be plenty for this car to go have some fun and hopefully drive the crap out of it. And that's what we wanted to see him do with this thing for a little while instead of the big nitrous, big blocks, one pass, let it cool, all that crap. This thing's gonna go drive it like 50-50. As, as much fun as you can have driving it, you can also go race it instead of like a a ninety nine percent race car, one percent time not. in your car. Oh yeah, driving it, doing something, even a simple thing. Run down and get parts. Who doesn't want to jump in a hot rod? And <laughs> go have fun. Yeah. Run down and just see your buddies at the speed shop and stuff. That's all we did. So. Sonic Donut Shop. Yeah. Weekends, events like that, Rock and Rumble. Like it just opens up so much more. Sick week, race week, drag week. If you build a car that's multi-purpose like that, there's so much more you can go do with it. So this thing will be coming together uh, again. This will probably be. Pete lives down in Arizona, so maybe we can go down there and do a few passes with this over the winter. I'm not sure exactly the plan with that because it doesn't look like we're going to make it out this season up here with it but uh yep so car on jack stands car on lift it's close i'm just waiting on parts yeah no it's real close and then the problem that everybody's having right now is getting stuff getting parts that's that's all i hear but and i'm being affected too <laughs> so yeah, yeah I'm just a everybody's simple, seeing it one project two projects and mm -hmm. i feel the pain yeah just so. a couple parts and pieces yeah, and i can't imagine an actual shop trying to make a dollar and deal with the Doing builds for customers. Oh, yes, okay. trying to meet deadlines, trying to get something out the door, being frustrated, keep the lights on. It's a, <laughs> it's a handful out there, people. So just do your best, keep Hopefully. your head up, and get out and enjoy it. Yeah, do whatever you can to get the car out. And that's what we're gonna try to do. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I thought that was pretty crazy with the axle. I know just a lot of talk in this video, but I want to show you kind of where we were at with that stuff, what we learned, and pass on some of that information to you guys. It was I'm sure you might be the second person that might yeah. ever has that issue. So. Check your axles. <laughs> yeah, do a, do a quick check on your axles during this winter if your car is down for a bit. And otherwise, we'll have a whole lot more content coming for you guys. Appreciate you for watching. We'll see you guys later.